On the evening of June 19, 2004, a team of astronomers at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona were looking for asteroids in the direction of the sun when they spotted something unusual. An asteroid, 450 meters across its longest axis, equivalent to about five football fields and taller than the Empire State Building. Designated 2004 MN4, astronomers observed that this space rock takes 323.6 days to orbit the sun, coming nearly as close to our star as Venus, before heading out to just beyond Earth's orbit. That is when they realize that the orbit of the asteroid can bring it very close to the Earth, with a 2.7% chance of hitting our planet on April 13, 2029. And as you can imagine, the space rock jumped to the top of the list of potentially hazardous asteroids. For scientists, the first priority now was to observe the asteroid like a hawk and find its precise trajectory. However, observing this thing isn't as simple as it sounds. Some years, it's too close to the sun from Earth's perspective to be seen. And there are other challenges too. Gravity can slightly shift an asteroid's orbital path each time it passes near another astronomical object. Add to that the Yarkovsky effect, which tells us that a small force exerted on asteroids by sunlight can cause changes in their trajectory. Like Earth, most asteroids rotate slowly as they travel through space. And as it rotates, the side facing the sun warms up and absorbs heat. When that side moves away from the sun, it cools down and releases the absorbed heat as thermal radiation. This emitted radiation creates a force on the asteroid, functioning like a tiny thruster that gradually alters the asteroid's trajectory over time. So you see, it was very important to determine the extent of these effects on Apophis to clearly map its orbit. That's why astronomers needed to capture extensive images of the asteroid, and a window opened up in 2013. Astronomers will be keeping their eyes on the sky tonight as a large asteroid is set to fly by Earth. The asteroid Apophis will be passing by at a distance of about 14 million kilometers. In March 2013, the world watched the asteroid as it made a close pass to our planet, though it wasn't as close as it would be in 2029. The Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex tracked the asteroid for about two weeks around its closest approach with researchers at the Green Bank Telescope coordinating observations to enhance data clarity. Based on these observations, NASA announced that Earth is safe from an impact with this asteroid for at least the next 100 years, ruling out the previously slight risk in 2068. But what about 2029 and 2036? Well, earlier observations had already eliminated potential impacts in 2029 and 2036. As such, the asteroid has been removed from the Century Impact Risk Table, setting the stage for significant scientific opportunities when it arrives close to the Earth in 2029. And that brings us to the actual must-see event on Friday, April 13, 2029. As of now, Apophis is in a part of the sky that is not observable from Earth, and it will remain so until we see it again in 2029. It will first appear as a tiny dot in the night sky reminiscent of what the dinosaurs might have seen with the Chicxulub asteroid. As it approaches for its flyby, this dot will grow gradually brighter, becoming visible to the naked eye. And on that fateful day, this massive asteroid will become the first known asteroid of this size to pass between Earth's geostationary satellites and the Atlantic Ocean, making its closest approach ever recorded. When Apophis passes by Earth, we can witness it from these places the Atlantic, Europe, Africa, and Asia. The 2029 near miss of the asteroid presents a unique chance for exploration, and NASA is already planning a spacecraft mission to intercept it. This encounter is considered an ideal moment to gather insights on planetary defense and observe how an asteroid behaves when passing close to a massive gravitational body like Earth. Scientists anticipate that the god of destruction might experience significant stress, potentially causing asteroid quakes and landslides. NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission made history by returning the first samples from asteroid Bennu to Earth. With the spacecraft still in excellent condition and a quarter of its fuel remaining, NASA has now redirected it towards Apophis. What's the goal, you ask? To collect data that could help scientists better understand the solar system 
and perhaps even aid in the development of defense measures against dangerous asteroids. Speaking of dangerous asteroids, here is a newly discovered space rock that now has a 1 in 43 chances of hitting Earth in 2032. On December 25, 2024, under the watchful gaze of the Atlas Asteroid Impact Early Warning System, a new cosmic wanderer made its grand entrance. Asteroid 2024, YR4, streaked into view, its path captured by telescopes stationed across Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa. The asteroid is about 150 feet or 50 meters wide, comparable to the length of a commercial airliner or the height of a 15-story building. When first detected, it had a 1.3% chance of impacting Earth, equivalent to a 1 in 83 probability of collision in 2032. However, further observations on December 29th increased the estimated odds to 1.6%, equivalent to 1 in 67 probability of a collision. That impact risk is significant enough to activate global planetary defense response procedures for the first time in history. And now, new calculations as of February 6th reveal a further increase in the odds of impact. We cannot ignore this rock. for the, It's the highest probability of an impact I can recall. And it has the potential, the possibility, for being an emergency for planet Earth. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. How do we determine the risk of an incoming asteroid? Enter the Torino scale, a system designed to assess both the likelihood of an asteroid collision with Earth and the potential consequences of such an impact. 2024 YR4 has rocketed to the top of official impact risk lists on both sides of the Atlantic and has the rare rating of 3 on the Torino scale that ranges from a no-risk 0 to a civilization ending 10. The only asteroid ever to have a higher score on the Torino scale was 99942, Apophis. It briefly had a rating of 4 on the Torino scale in late 2004, but the asteroid is now just a 0 on the Torino scale, which means that it has a negligible risk of impact for at least a century. Now, 2024 YR4 isn't massive enough to cause an extinction-level event or a global catastrophe. It may not be the world-ending apocalypse depicted in the Netflix movie Don't Look Up, but Astronomers have significantly raised the odds of a direct hit from this asteroid hurtling toward Earth. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, the chances of 2024 YR4 striking Earth in 2032 have increased to 2.3%, a concerning 1 in 43 probability. However, as more observations come in, this information is subject to change. The problem is, we have just a couple of months left to track this asteroid before it disappears from view. New observations will refine its orbit, likely reducing the chances of impact to nearly zero. But, if the probability remains in the same ballpark, we'll be facing a serious situation because the asteroid won't return into view until 2028, leaving us only a few years to make a critical decision and take action. We only have another couple of months to observe this rock before it goes out of sight. NASA has impacted other asteroids to see the effect on their orbit and their trajectory, and that has worked to a limited extent. But it might not work for this object. It may well be. We might even have to consider the severe measures of sending up a nuclear weapon to the surface of this asteroid in order to deflect it further. With the current data astronomers have on the asteroid, they estimate not just one possibility for impact in 2032, but seven possibilities between 2032 and 2079, with the first possible impact date being December 22, 2032. Again, as more observations come in, this information is subject to change. But what if asteroid 2024 YR4 were to strike Earth? Calculations suggest that if it were to strike Earth, asteroid 2024 YR4 wouldn't end life on Earth as we know it, as it's not large enough to do that. But it could be locally destructive, depending on where it hits. The impact could be comparable to the 1908 Tunguska event, where a powerful explosion, estimated between 3 and 50 megatons, occurred over Siberia, flattening approximately 80 million trees across 830 square miles of forest. Scientists, however, believe that the observation of the asteroid is still in its early days and that more telescopic data will most likely lead to a reassignment of its Torino scale value to level zero. In fact, 
Most newly listed asteroids on the Torino scale initially show a rising impact probability as observations refine their paths until the risk drops to zero. The same is likely for asteroid 2024 YR4. At the moment, the asteroid is exceedingly faint at magnitude 23, and it is expected to continue to dim throughout February until it leaves our view. So let's ask the big question. What if future observations confirm that asteroid 2024 YR4 is on a collision course with Earth on December 22, 2032? First, the potential impact is still years away. Plus, we've already tested our ability to deflect an asteroid. In 2022, NASA's double asteroid redirection test successfully struck Dimorphos, a moon of an asteroid, demonstrating planetary defense in action. Notably, Dimorphos was much larger than 2024 YR4, measuring 525 feet across. So if 2024 YR4 does pose a threat, we're at least somewhat prepared. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let me know.